Hello there guys, it's Martha Mew here and today we have all of the Sun and Moon 6 Forbidden Light translations as it says on the screen. Thank you to Poker Beach. We are joined today by a lovely friend, Elliot. I'm not getting paid for this by the way. <laughs> and I also have my boyfriend Matt here um, by my side to uh, weigh in as well. Yeah, hi. <laughs> right, so we're starting from the top obviously um, with Execute. Um, so it's yeah. Search it out for another execute and put it on your bench shuffle your deck. Oh, this is as good as I think. So what does the yellow executor do? Um twenty more damage for each type of basic energy card in your discard pile. Up to five. So it can only do one hundred damage then. For well, one energy five, though, five, that's pretty good. Yeah, like at least hundred and twenty for one energy, that's pretty good. Retreat task it's got, of three, and it's it also has... also got a H HP of 160, which isn't bad. No, it's actually pretty, it's pretty good for a meme. <laughs> yeah, it's actually better than the GX. <clears throat> wow. Okay, so not to, not to spend too long on anything that isn't a GX Pokemon, let's move on to Scatterbug. So this one's got an ability called Plague. If you go second, during your first turn you can use this ability. Search your deck for a Spooper and Vivian and reveal them and put them into your hand. Then shuffle your deck. So just setting up for somebody to, you know, end you or judge you or it'll anything. Be it'll be judged yeah. because ends going bye-bye. Otherwise it's a good way for, you know, gang the evolution chain. Unless you yeah. just have a wreck ending. <laughs> oh, it, it's not as good as the other Vivi uh, the other Scatterbug. It's super evolution. It's basically a rare candy in an attack. Although it it's is a flip, flip a coin. coin but yeah. if you get it off, it's a free rare candy up to Vivian. Yeah. That's, I, yeah. I feel both, better. both have their uh, caveats, definitely. I like um, the first one's art. It looks cuter. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, so the Spooper, I think it doesn't really do much, it's just there to evolve. And then Vivian, for all of that effort, you get 50 damage and your opponent's Pokemon is now poisoned and asleep. Poisoned and asleep. Cool, I can do that just by evolving. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Swazzle the, the evolution chain for that went yes, yes, and be flat. <laughs> So we have Skiddo and Go Go next as well. So it's Skiddo, attach a grass energy from your hand to this Pokemon. So you can effectively like get it up to two energy on the second turn. Well, because you can only attack when you go second. Um, yeah. Onto second turn. So then hopefully have another one in your hand for it to then do 40 damage if you don't obviously evolve it into Go Go, which its first attack is one grass energy, flip two coins and for each head. It's just that it just heals itself, okay? Yeah. It doesn't actually do any damage, but its second attack does 120, which is quite high, but of course does damage to itself. But that's not too bad for three energy. And grass has got a lot of healing that's available. Yeah. So I wouldn't, that's not too God bad. Danger. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, first of the um, sort of more kind of slightly interesting cards, we've got the Hollow um, Ferramosa, which is a Ultra Beast. So we got a colourless attack for 20 damage, and then uh, three energy attack for 90 damage. If you have one prize card remaining, it does 90 more. So just 180 if you only have one prize card left. Considering that's like, if you're winning, this does a shit ton more. That's yeah. pretty good. Otherwise, it's kind of just meh, but it's, it's got yeah. a good return cost of just in case it's dragged in. I mean, um, I can't remember exactly the wording on the card from. What was it? Was it? Is it Ultra Prism? It must be. Yeah. It's Naganadel, isn't it? I think. But like, um, for each Ultra Beast you have in play or whatever, it does more yeah. damage. So you know, just mm. taking these kind of things in just makes <coughs> all the difference. Yeah. Um. Next we have an Alolan Marowak. So I'm guessing the um, Cubone is a fighting type then. Um. I've got a free attack here. Limbo Limbo. Search your deck for up to two basic energy cards and attach them to your Pokemon in any way you like, then shuffle your that's, deck. That's really good. That's really good yeah. for fire. That's yes. really good to see for fire. Needed! <laughs> the, you know, the one here who's got a fire deck that needs uh, some more support because all the EXs are going out of rotation in September. That's the uh, that's an issue. So oh, that's, that's the second really good Alola Marowak that's come out. Yeah. Hmm. And it just the next one is 20 times it says 20 damage times the amount of Pokemon you have in play with, with a Lolan in its name, name. Which, uh, uh, you're uh, not going to use it for that, you're just going to use it for the, car, uh, 
whatever attack to free attack. Mm. Oh yeah, definitely. And you just float stone. And then if they, well yeah, you can float stone. Well no, float stone's going out of rotation in September, so it'll be switch. Or oh, if yeah. it stays Ace inactive, roller it Ace and roller it, or your opponent KOs it, it's like, okay, take a one prize KO, I'm fine with that, bring in this GX that's been set yeah. up thanks to this. Mm -hmm. um, so then next up, it looks like we've got a um, Delphox chain here, so it doesn't look like the first two are anything to, the, the actual Fennekins are anything to stare at. I'd, I'd love the second one's artwork. Yeah. Um, definitely. Um, breaks in. Also, it doesn't really like hit my fancy. So the Delphox, yeah. Fox, magical torch ability. Once during your turn, before you attack, you may leave your opponent's po active Pokemon burned. Wow. wow. And of course, a uh, energy just leaving itself do a heavy attack. Yeah. I tried yeah. to get my words mo out. There. Most most fire Pokemon have discard energy from this Pokemon, and of course, for now that's okay unless they don't reprint the uh, special. Fire energy, burning energy, which uh, when you discard it for the cost of the attack, it comes back to the Pokemon afterwards, which is yeah. obviously the best thing the fire has ever gotten. Yeah. Um, energy wise. Um, and it will only ever be that until they do something. I better. feel like for that kind of cost, it should be a three energy attack rather than a four energy attack, but. Yeah. Okay. So the next cards are actually ones that when I first saw them, really took my interest. I really like the look of this Pyro. Um, yeah. Litleo, nothing to look at. It's a, it's a Claynation fig. Oh my gosh, that's yeah. so cute. Anyway, um, so the Pyro has a really interesting ability of whenever your opponent plays an item card or a supporter card, prevent all effects of that card done to this Pokemon. So what that basically means is that, oh, you want to Guzma this up? Sorry. Can't yeah. do that. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, you want to um, do Kukuri? Yeah, you want a Kukuri? You're not going to get the uh, the damage off from that. Um, item cards. Yeah. You know. Oh, you've got a choice band attached to your. Um, well, that doesn't actually, you know, affect. If he was a GX, anyway, but, that um, ability, I feel like it'd be much better. Yeah. yeah. Um, but th th then there's probably oh field blower. If this thing's got a um, choice band, choice on, band it. on it. Yeah, yeah, you can't get rid bad. of that. Yeah. It, 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 to Once me, it seems there, pretty good. It's, it's not going anytime soon. Yeah. And its attack, obviously, you can see it's only three energy, which one of them is to double colourless, which, hint, hint, is getting actually reprinted in the set, which is amazingly good. So fantastic. Um, does 80 damage, and if Lysander Labs is in play, which I think is a stadium card, which it, we, obviously is at the end of the, the set list, yeah. Um, yeah. This attack does 60 more, so it can do oh, quick maths. I'm not very good at uh, 140 for three energy. Yeah. With no downside. And he only has a double colors for tree cost. Yeah, it, the, I really like this card for fire decks. Yeah. I will be surprised if this isn't seen in in fire Major. decks. Yeah, in meta. Anyway, yeah. oh, moving God, on to go. the to what we thought we'd gotten rid of. <laughs> we all thought we'd seen the back of Greninja break. <laughs> but no, they've just, you know, made a GX version of the damn thing. <laughs> anyway, the Froki isn't really anything to um, to shout about. It's If it's got any any water energy attached to it, this first one, it's Retreat Loss is zero, which is, if you ask me, the better out of the two, because you don't want it inactive to, you know, Die. come, yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, and then the other Froki is just more attacking. Again, though, yeah. they've given the better artwork to the worst card. Yeah, go figure. <laughs> Frogadier, quick shuriken. When you play it to evolve one of your Pokemon, you put two damage counter on your Pokemon in any way you like. Yeah, uh, one of your opponent's Pokemon. Oh, yeah, so basically it's going to be a, a chain of when you evolve things, because Greninja has exactly the same ability, but it just puts three damage counters on one of the opponent's mm. Pokemon. Um, so yeah, you don't need to know anything other than that about Frogadier. Like I was just saying, Greninja GX has got exactly the same kind of ability. But his first attack, uh, yeah, that's what makes him annoying. Not only does he have 230 HP, which for most decks is a hurdle, yeah. Is a hurdle, um, but he can do 110 damage, and he can he and all of the cards under him, and attached to him, go back to the deck. So he can 
do that damage, evolve and do all that damage as well. So he does 5 damage just evolving into him. And then 110 damage on his attack. And then he just bugs off back to the deck. This so, is why I run so Galeo just to do the 230 to get it over with. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, 230 is a high number to hit with a yeah. lot of things. There's not many things that can hit that. Yeah. Um, I think Sogaleo is probably one of them. Dusk Main with a choice band is one of them. A Gardevoir can hit it quite easily. Well, well I say way, quite easily, enough but energy in the choice band, yeah. Yeah. Um, I can't really think of any more. Well, there's times two for each energy one, depending if you have enough energy, but depends. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So. Trasher lunch. Oh yeah, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Garboda for Trash Lance can definitely hit that kind of number. But um, mm -hmm. yeah, so it's GX attack, which I... If it didn't need it, it does 130 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. So it's an instant KO in some situations. In most situations it is. Yeah. yeah. If you've been evolving it up and just focusing on putting it on one bench one, it's probably a KO. Yeah. Well, if you've been doing dot damage, basically. Yeah, if you've been doing dot damage to something that has at least 180 to the board, yeah, that that, that yeah. it's dead. Putting it this way, I I oh, no, sorry, spread damage, not dot damage. I, I think it's I highly <laughs> unlikely that we won't see this in um, an international world's deck. I I don't see it happening. That, that it's not going to be a thing. Well, the flying flips in rotation as well for this, isn't it? So there's there's if you've plenty got this, of you've cards got, that you've got can flying do lots flip of damage spread to the damage. Bench. You've got that spread damage. It is spread, not dot. By the way, that was me being a tip. Um, well, no, it's dot damage because it's it's yeah. put three damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. Oh, okay, everyone. I was right now. Yeah. Um, whereas obviously flying flip Tapu Koko is yeah, spread. spread damage. Um, but yeah, and enough about so Greninja okay. GX. This full art form, by the way, which we'll get to at the very end, it looks really nice. Anyway, so we've got a Clauncher and Clawitzer. Um, what does Clawitzer do? Stand by during the next turn, put on sharp shooting damage does 120. Okay, so it's only one energy. Uh, it's, only, it's only got 100 HP. Uh, <laughs> it's got to live to the next turn. This attack does 40 damage to one of your opponent's fake ones. So, oh, so you can do 120 damage anyway if you use that first one first. Which, uh, for one energy. Meh. Okay. <laughs> anyway, oh, so we've got some fossil Pokemon. Amora and Aurorus. Um, so the unidentified fossil is again being reprinted in this set because we've got fossil Pokemon in this set as well, but we've had it in the last set as well. Um, it's being reprinted, is it? Yeah, it's in this set as well. It's just the okay. fossil, the unidentified fossil that all of the... It used to be a specific fossil for each specific um, fossil Pokemon, but now it's just the unidentified fossil is all of them. Yeah. So you basically you place that item card down as a Pokemon and then you evolve Amora onto it. So basically, even though... Yeah, so it says Amora is a stage one rather than obviously being a basic. He also has a picture. Mm. Hey, so Aurorus is a hollow card by the looks. And we have a three energy attack that does 50 damage. During your opponent's next turn, prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by your opponent's evolved Pokemon. Welcome back, Glaceon EX. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically what I see in this card. It does a lot less damage, of course, but... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, wow. Its second wow. attack takes way too much energy, but does 150 damage. Uh, it can't use that specific attack next turn. As long as it says it can't use... It, if it, if it, As long as it doesn't say it can't attack, full stop, in the next turn, it's all right. <laughs> Sorry, nothing's going to be wishy-washy on cost. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> so, Bergmite and Avalug. So, um, Bergmite, discard a stadium card in play, and it paralyzes a Pokemon. Ooh, okay. Um, and Avalug... 3 energy does 80 damage. Your opponent can't play stadium cards from their hand during the next turn. That could be a little bit uh, devastating. Yeah, that's an interesting ability to mm. ones that do rely on stadiums. Yeah. And uh, Skull Bash for way too many energy for what it does, just 100 damage. Yeah, nah. I love the artwork in that card. I don't know what it is. It's pretty. Yeah, anyway. it looks dusty, that's why. <laughs> Volcanium Prism Star. Oh, here we go. First Prism Star. I think I remember seeing this and thinking, this is a really cool sounding deck. Mm. 
Jet Guy's ability, once during your turn before you attack, you may discard a water energy from your hand, and if you do, your opponent switches their active with one of their bench Pokemon. Lysander to well, kinda. Kinda, but because you're yeah. discarding a water energy, it's not even that bad, because Aqua Patch yeah. can then, you know, direct it back to a Pokemon. Yeah, exactly. And when, you know, Savali eventually gets a water memory, boom. Yeah, yeah, basically. Um... Uh, blah, 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 blah. what's I gonna say? Oh, this also gets around that um, Pyro because it's a Pokemon ability that's switching you. Yeah. So, yeah. I think this and the Volcarona from Shining Legends are one of the only two ways to actually, you know, <laughs> get around that Pyro. Like, a Pokemon abilities being able to work, but obviously. Yeah. Easy, yeah. So, yeah, then it's attack. For only three water energy, it does 100 damage, and it does 20 damage to each of your opponents benched as well. So, yeah. I can see Volcanion Prism Star working exceptionally well with um, Greninja GX. Yeah. Very yeah, well. Definitely. Yeah. And I, I like the fact that most of the prisms are working like depending on the opponent situation just in case they're empowering you with the bench it's just like oh i get a benefit because you're winning yeah yeah there's a lot of that i yeah. definitely really like this card yeah it's, it's interesting it's got of... a weakness to lightning as well because the previous ones have had weakness to water and they've been like part of fire and water but obviously this one's actually just full-on water type which is yeah because i don't think it's a dual card do, no do no actually have dual, dual cards or not um, not there was only one set with them, or two sets, or something with with dual type cards. And so, yeah, hmm. that went um. well then. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I liked it, but you know. Anyway, yeah. so we got a Helioptile and a Heliolisk. They're not really the, the only the electric Pokemon in the set, and they are so underwhelming. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna second, just like, go straight past you've... them. Yeah, he always asks oh, his cool, but eh, whatever. <laughs> so we got an Esper and a Meowstic. Uh, moving energy attached to one of your opponent's bench to another of their Pokemon. That's, that's a bit... That's, that's, that can be disruptive in the right circumstances. Yeah, it really if can. You're, like, if you're struggling to get like bench like stuff on the bench, this is like a good stalling technique. Definitely. It also um, does 20 damage. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the next one here, teleport break. 20 damage switches his Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon, so as a Meow State, that's pretty good. Just getting out, doing little tiny little damage and getting out of the way for one energy. Uh, Psychic yeah. 30 plus. Uh, this attack does 30 more damage for each energy attached to your opponent's active. So we get another one of these. They're, yeah. they're, they're always the Psychic Pokemon, I find, that do that. Yeah, most of the time. And what you can just do with the Asper is move all your opponent's. Like energy to like a specific Pokemon, bring mm. it in and then just use that. Say most okay. Pokemon have like a three energy cost attack, just just a, a random. So that's ninety. It's doing one hundred and twenty for two energy at that. So yeah. it's, it can be a counter to a lot of things, I find. Yeah, but it can just also be easily knocked out. Yeah, I don't see that's people using problem. it, but it's it's quite yeah. a nifty it's little a Pokemon. Like, it's a good concept. Yeah. So we've got a couple of Honages next, um, which are both Psychic types in this instance, because they're Ghost types in the game. Um, decided to not make them Steel types. Damn uh, it. Even though the first Honage's is, is, uh, attack is called Metal Sound. Mm. Ironic. <laughs> um, doesn't look like the first one's got anything going for it. What's the second one's ability? Um, uh, they don't even know the name of it. Uh, uh, hmm. eh, oh well. Whatever. Is, is this Pokemon is your active Pokemon? It's knocked out by damage from an opponent's Pokemon. Put free damage counter on one of your opponent's Pokemon. That's good. I definitely run that one over the other. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Plus, I like the artwork. I mean, I like prefer the other one, but this one's just like, hey. Plus, if you if you threaten them enough to not want for them to not want to attack, then if you manage to and you don't manage to evolve this thing, that's the other thing. Just fifty yeah. damage with three psychic energy. Whatever. Um, what do you Wait a minute, can, can you actually do a tie with this card? Uh, like, think of, like the circumstance, like yes. both of you. Yeah. Yeah, you can, you can tie with this card, I love it, I'm making the deck. <laughs> figuring out a way to tie. Just with the Honage. Um, I will get to that circumstance one day. <laughs> so we got a Dewblade, uh, I, I've noticed throughout time a lot of the Dew, um, this chain does this, this kind of thing. 
where it's got this attack that does three damage counters on each of your opponent's Pokemon with any tool cards attached to them. In previous times, it's been like um, this this attack does this amount of uh, damage for every damage counter on it, or like the like the Hone Edge will do 10, 10 damage to everything, and then the Dew Blade will do. 20 damage to everything that's already got damage on it and then the Aegis Lash will do even more damage for everything that's already got damage on it and it's a kind of that kind of thing but yeah it's like a one buff combo one two back on my ship <laughs> so yeah that I mean that's okay but yeah um tool cards are, some decks are huge with and some decks aren't so yeah it just, it just depends because mm. sometimes field blower just puts people off so the Aegis Lash is interesting yeah I love it it's like Absol but kind of different <laughs> Yeah, if the defending Pokemon is damaged by an attack during your next turn, just bye bye. Yeah. And three psychic energy drain slash does ninety damage and you heal thirty from it. It's got it's got a respectable amount of HP. One hundred and fifty for a stage two isn't too bad. Yeah, and the fact you can just keep healing itself. So pretty much what you do with this card is re record of death, then draining slash to heal thirty for any damage you basically been dealt yeah. then kill it next turn you've got to try and have some way of making your opponent like some way of stopping your opponent from switching I, I would say if there, if there comes a card that stops your opponent from switching that would be really good in this kind of deck or you just have yeah. laser of energy disruption in the deck and then that way they have to rely on the switches which is less unlikely because Skylar going out, because of energy going out, well, because Skylar's going out, energy's harder to come by, you can only run a maximum of four switches anyway. So Yeah, they need to like reprint Skylar or at least make a new form fast. Yeah, we're, did, we're all hoping. They did, all the pad. No, it's not the Is same, it? it's only item cards, it's not trainer cards. Yes, but I've explained not this to you same. before, it's the fact that well, it can, it, it's basically Skylar, you have to roll a flipper coin, whatever, roll dice. It, you find an item, not find a an item, not a, a trainer, but that's basically the modern day Skylar. No, they'll, they'll reprint something. They'll do something. They have to because we're yeah. losing Letter, and then they're giving us spoilers, guys. Lady, which they is a supporter that gives you, yeah, they're giving it a buff, but also making it a supporter. But yeah. there we go. Basically, anyway. it's just the cost of using two <coughs> of Letter. So one. I'm going to go straight over the Inkay and go straight to the Malamar because the ability on the Malamar is really good for any Psychic deck and I, yeah, once during your turn before you attack you can attach a, basic, a, a Psychic Energy card from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. It's fantastic. Yeah, great. It's just a stage one, up, it's like, fine. Yeah, I can set, set up stuff like Lunala and like Anger Slash quickly. Mm -hmm. And if it gets stuck inactive, it can do 60 damage. It's, I mean, it's one prize KO, it's fine. Yeah, it's, it's, it's easily expendable. Yes. Um, anyway, so as, as good as that was. <laughs> Moving skip on. Skip the Skrelp, let's just go to the Dragon. Skr yeah, skip, yeah, skip the Skrelp. Um, Poison Barb, if they Pokemon your, if the Pokemon is your active Pokemon and is damaged by an opponent's attack, even if this Pokemon is knocked out, the attacking Pokemon is now poisoned. Where well, have we heard that before? It's basically a poison... But it is a poison bob. It is poison bob. It's poison bob without having the actual card attached to it. Yeah. <laughs> um, and it does two energy attack, twister, 60 damage, flip two coins for each head, discard an energy card from your attached to your opponent, active. If both are tails, this attack fails. It would have been so much better if th that last bit wasn't there. Like, yeah, oh, it would be so much better. I mean, yeah, it's kind of like a double-edged sword. Even if you do get one head, that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, it only does 60 damage, but yeah. I don't know that that's going to get anything seen, but yeah, okay. Mm. So we've got a one-off Hooper next, which for Hyperspace Ring. Um, so your deck for up to two item cards, reveal them and put them into your hand, and then shuffle your deck. For... That's not my Skylar! It's, no, it's... <laughs> Um, not my Skylar. Um, but two item cards isn't bad. No, it's not bad as long as you know it's fucking Skylar. Uh, it's a, it's another expendable card, and you've got to be yeah. careful how many but how many of those kind of things you put in the deck. Um, mm. So yeah, its next attack just does ten damage, and it's a flipper coin. After all that, it has to be a flipper coin. If heads, your opponent's actually Pokemon's now paralyzed. Yeah. Okay. Meh. Yeah. So we got the Cubone to go with the Marowak from earlier, but it doesn't really do anything. I don't like how all Cubans' mothers are dead. 
Aww. Oh, that shit. Aww. <laughs> Moving on. It's too sad. <laughs> Pancham. Act tough for a fighting energy. 10 damage. And if this Pokemon has any dark energy attached to it, it does 30 more. I'm guessing that Pangoro is a dark type or takes dark energy, so that would work. Now, Gary, what are you talking about? Mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> So, Binacle and Barbarical. Yeah. A portion. Um, 10 damage, draw a card. Two. 10 damage, draw a card. That's, That's better than Dust Gathering. What the hell am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And the Barbarical is one fighting, one colour, seven shock, 30 damage. And if you have seven cards in your hand, your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralysed. That's very specific. It, it is. <laughs> What can oh, give you seven cards in your hand? I mean, like... Nothing! <laughs> I mean... It's always six or four! Only Halid is seven, and you've got to <laughs> use a GX by then. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well. What the fuck? I mean, I mean, you could end up using Cynthia for six, and then, like, use something else in, in your hand to draw oh, one, yeah, I use, don't know. Use, yeah, use, use the letter that's going out rotation. <laughs> Yeah, something like that, I don't know. Anyway, the Tyrant into Tyrantrum. The Tyrant is just cute, really cute picture. I, um, I like it. The Tyrantrum, this is a difficult card to wrap your head around. <laughs> if you have the same amount or fewer Pokemon in play than your opponent, this Pokemon's attacks do 60 more damage to your opponent's active and it takes 30 less damage from attacks. Which obviously changes if you manage to, kill, if you manage to KO something. So it can only do it on that one occasion, um, but anyway, it does it does a hundred damage and discards one energy from your opponent's active. So it's pretty, it's it's pretty it's solid. Great, it's great. It's a solid, it's a solid thing. I don't and see it run, hundred. but it, it's pretty solid. It looks like a cartoon. He does a bit. Um, so we got a Halucha. Does high jump yeah. kick for twenty, and then three colorless energy, free fall, eighty minus damage. His attack damage is reduced by twenty for each energy card in your opponent's active Pokémon's retreat cost. It's a Ooh. cock of shit. It doesn't do enough damage for that to be a thing. No, it doesn't. And most, like most things, have at least like major things that at least have a you know two retreat three. cost. Three. Yeah. yeah. It, it's useless. It should be Part 200 damage minus 20 for each. Yeah, or at least a hundred, like at least 120 or like 40 or something. At like, least fuck. something bigger than and 80. Three colors energy, just chuck that shit in the bin. Yeah, it's fuck. a bit. It's like, a bit rubbish. Damn. As of all the cards that are rubbish in this set, that's definitely it. Um, that's the worst. That's the worst. Throw it in the bin. They so we got it. the Zygarde 10 percent form now, um, with. Earth Aura ability. Don't apply weakness and resistance for damage from this Pokemon's attacks. Blah. So it's a, it's a bit of a pain that it doesn't apply weakness. The resistance part is cool, but the weakness part is like, ah. Um, one fighting energy. Peacemaker does 30 damage. And if your opponent has any Ultra Beast in play, it does 30 more. So situational, not going to be used. Moving on. Yeah. The others I got. <laughs> <laughs> um, 20 damage flip a coin if heads the opponent's active Pokemon is paralyzed. Flip a coin is always horrible. The next attack mm. does 3 energy, 60 plus if you have any. If you have used your GX attack this game, it does 60 more damage. We can actually see the, the Zygarde GX coming up as well. There's 3 yeah. Zygarde in this set. I know, right? It's crazy. <laughs> oh dear. It does 60 more damage, so it does 120 if you've used your GX. Um, which, looking at, if you're going to do a Zygarde deck, isn't the easiest thing to do, considering Zygarde GX's GX attack takes four energy. Yeah, double cast and two fighting. Hmm. But if uh, you get that, then you're basically set with the GX anyway, so you might as well keep with it, because its other attack does 130. Yeah. Its first attack is double colorless, it does 50 damage, and you attach two fighting energy from the discard to that Pokémon. So but yeah, it does set itself up, that. doesn't it? Yeah, it does set itself up. Take yeah. back what you said about it being difficult. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, definitely. As long as you've actually managed to discard the two fighting energy, that's really yeah. not bad. Uh, Lady um, and Ultra Ball. Lady there, and Ultra Ball. There is a card, a supporter later on that makes this specific Zygarde GX even more broken. I don't know if mm. you remember seeing it, but we'll, no, we'll, I remember. we'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. <laughs> 
so um, yeah, Lance Rathus does 130 base damage, nothing else, no effect. Um, yeah. It's Judgment GX does 150 damage, and during your opponent's next turn, this Pokemon takes no damage from the attacks of your opponent's Pokemon GX and EX, which is the biggest deal because that's what's going to do most damage in most cases. Yeah. So. Yeah, because no one really takes those like small cards much anymore. Not a well, lot. Well, no. well, not a lot until until we you know go into that trash deck that says oh item cards in your drop zone. We like that. Yeah, and this but, works exceptionally well as well with Diancy Prism Star, which is next. Its ability says that if this Pokemon is on your bench, your fighting Pokemon's attacks do twenty more damage to your opponent's actives. So yes. instead so of doing one thirty. Instead of doing 130 with Lands Wrath, you're doing 150, which is the GX attack, and you'd be doing 170 with the GX attack itself, which is... Yeah. That's a really big good. number. <laughs> um, and Diamond Rain for free fighting energy, yeah. does 90, and you heal 30 for each Pokemon on, on your, your bench. bench. That Prism Star is really good. Yeah, imagine if you had, like, uh, I can't remember what the other one, like, the, the, ben, like the stadium that lets you have eight Pokemon or something. Oh, just, Skyfield, which isn't a thing anymore, so... Yeah, but just imagine just... Da, 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 yeah, yeah, a lot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then um, we have Rock Oh my god, that artwork. Oh. <laughs> he I, looks I so shocked. Where, he looks so shook off, and I, I don't <clears throat> like... I don't like it looks like, like, random in the background, and he's, like, poorly drawn like, from a six-year-old. He looks depressed. <laughs> Who hurt you? Was Aww. it The Rock? <laughs> and Myra speak to me. <laughs> so yeah, the, just... the Lycan Rock he evolves into, though Dangerous Rock. I think it's exactly the same as a previous Lycan Rock we've had. Yeah, because Excel Rock does 100 damage as well. I think it's exactly the same. Dangerous so. Rock 20 damage attack does 20 more damage for each of your opponent's bench Pokemon, which obviously pe people like just spamming the bench with stuff. So that can that can do yeah. a lot of damage. Yeah, they Pokemon realize, huh? People like bench. Let's fuck yeah. that up. Yeah, um, yeah, he, he's not bad. He's not, again yeah. the ones that we've currently I'm, got don't see any play, yeah. so I don't I'm see any reason why this one would. Yeah, I'm surprised the dusk hasn't got a GX yet, like the other two. Um, yeah, because this is the dusk. This is dusk, but it's just a uh, the normal one. So maybe because we've got dawn and mid oh mid midday and midnight, haven't we for uh, the GX set yeah. anyway? Anyway, yeah. so. This the Pangaro, yeah. as we suspected, is a dark type. Mm. <laughs> one dark and one colourless, which is probably going to be a fighting energy if you have had anything to do with the uh, the previous card, mm. the uh, the Pancham. Does Frenzy Punch for 50 damage. If this Pokemon has any damage counters on it, it does 50 more damage. This Pokemon, both this Pokemon and your opponent's active Pokemon are now confused. Damn it! <laughs> At least it confuses your opponent as well. Yeah. That's a hundred for two energy. That's not too bad. Yeah, it's not completely terrible. And then second attack. Definitely. No. As soon as I see flip coins, I'm like, no, thank you. Yeah. For two coins, it's just 40 more for each heads. That's not actually that bad because it's just 80 on the dot and then mm -hmm. it can do up to 160. Because it doesn't have like a bad effect to it, but no. still like, eh. Yeah. <laughs> so. So now next is is a card that Matt wants to get working, don't you? Yeah, it's I'm really... trying to figure out why you're doing it still. It Literally. would be much better if its GX attack wasn't something that you could only use once. <laughs> well, that, that's the main mechanic of GX. Yeah, um, we know, we know. Yeah, basically, <laughs> one dark energy, absorb life, deal 20 damage, and then heal from this Pokémon the same amount of damage you did to your opponent's active Pokémon. So if you have a Choice Band, that's an extra 30. If you use Kakui and Choice Band, that's an extra, like... Weakness as well, that can do a lot more, but yeah. yeah Not a lot is weak to Dark. Work. I'm trying to think I of think what... To get a matchup for Darkness Weakness is very, very rare. Yeah. Mm. yeah. It's, it's super effective. Oh, wait, no. It's, it's, oh, wait, no, that's what it's weak to. Never mind, I'm being super. <laughs> then, Freak Carlos Evil Sonic does 100. This isn't affected by this, which is great. Yeah. And death count. I think Elliot just died. Um, <laughs> so, if your opponent's active Pokemon has exactly four damage counters on it, it's knocked out, which is crazy. Um. Yeah, it's so not easy to pull off. It's not that easy to pull off, but if you've absorbed life twice, then you've got 40 damage on the Pokemon, so 
four damage counters, so that, that works. I also want to say that this artwork is really cool. I love the artwork on this card. It's really nice. Um, 180 HP, basic Pokemon. Yeah, I, I do wish you could use this GX attack more than once because of what it is, but... Is that it actually, oh well. like, died? Um, I'm not sure what's going on with Elliot's audio. Hello? There we go, Hello? he's back, he's back. <laughs> we can hear you again. Oh. What's Gus Lord do? We, we're having issues. We'll, we'll carry on and if, if we can hear him, we can hear him. Okay, um, so we've got four energy on this Gus Lord, which is another Ultra Beast. Four dark energy at that, not even any colourless. Um, King's Valley does 160 damage. If you have 6-4 to have... it, you just got a top 10 cards in your deck. <laughs> yeah. So you need to be on 5 or 3 or 1 prize card and then you get no ill effects. <laughs> it just makes me laugh. <laughs> so much damage, so much energy. Girls Lord is just greedy as hell. Anyway, so we have a, a Flabebe ride chain here. I don't even know what I'm calling it that but it kind of is. It's an evolution chain, there you go. Uh, ability with Head Start Evolution. This Pokemon can evolve the turn it was played if it's the first turn of the player going second. It would be so much better if it was just this Pokemon can evolve the turn it was played and leave it at that. <laughs> but oh well. Um, we got another Flabebe um, that has an attack that has an uh, effect. Secret Blessing. Choose three in any combination of Pokemon and basic energy cards from your discard pile. Reveal them and shuffle them into your deck. That's a pretty good attack just to, you know, if you're really stuck, just boot. It's also got slightly more HP on it, so yeah, not too bad. I'm just going to really quickly check. Um, okay, Elliot's actually gone offline, so we'll just keep an eye out for that. Um, uh, I'll just try and keep an eye out to make sure I don't miss him recalling. Um, so yeah. Um, we've got a Floette, which is switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with their active, then switch this Pokemon with one of your bench. So it's basically your Guzma in a, an attack. Okay. Um, the Florgeous has an ability. Once during your turn before you attack, you can flip a coin. If heads, put an item card from your discard pile on top of your deck. Because it's an ability, I don't mind the flip a coin so much. Um, Two fairy energy, one colourless does 70 damage during your opponent's next turn. Prevent all damage to Pokemon by attacks from normal Pokemon. It's too specific, really. I, be, especially because it's a stage two. That was my phone going off with Elliot messaging me. Um, yeah. Uh, okay, sorry guys. Um, Elliot's internet has died. Okay, so anyway, um, so next we have a Sylveon, which obviously evolves from Eevee. With the Energy Evolution Eevee, this is really easy to get into. Um, you've obviously got the Sylveon GX from uh, Guardians Rising, I want to say, but it probably wasn't that set. I can't remember which set. Was it Burning Shadows? I've been Burning Shadows. Anyway, whichever one it was, um, we have the Sylveon GX from that. But this one, as your other... Um, <laughs> Okay, so I think we've actually lost Elliot, because um, his internet's completely gone and he says he's probably not going to come back anytime soon. Okay, so anyway, let's let's continue with the show. Um, so, its first attack does with one energy, any colour energy, your opponent reveals their hand and you may discard a supporter you find there. If you do, use the effect of that supporter as the effect of this attack. So basically, if your opponent is lucky enough to have a Bridget in their hand first turn, well, Bridget at the minute, obviously. They discard that uh, said Bridget, and you can use it to fill your own bench. <laughs> um, amazing card. I, I, I mean, I'm thinking about all of the supporters. Uh, I mean, I suppose there's some very specific ones that only work in some decks, but then there's cards like Cynthia and um, Kukui and other stuff that will let you draw cards and all sorts of things. So I, I don't actually see why not that this card won't be used in decks that already run Sylveon GX because I, I think this attack is pretty cool for one energy. Yeah, it's second attack, only does 40 damage, but that first one is, I mean, 
if it didn't discard the supporter as well, it would be a bit like meh. But because it's getting rid of a supporter that your opponent would want to use, that's uh, it. That's big. I like it a lot. So next we have a Dedene. Um, with find a friend, search your deck for a Pokemon, reveal it and put it into your hand and shuffle your deck. It's nice. Um, two energy, electric chain, 30 damage, just attack does 30 more damage if you have a lightning Pokemon on your bench. So, a bit weird, because you have to run it with the lightning. Oh well. Um, Klefki, two energies, two, two attacks with one energy. Um, your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused and fairy locked for 20 damage. If the defending Pokemon can't retreat in your ne opponent's next turn, oh, the defending Pokemon can't retreat in your opponent's next turn. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. It's a yeah rubbish. Zinnius uh, <laughs> GX. I love this artwork on this card. For real, I love it. Um, <coughs> run through does 20 damage and this does 20 damage to one of your opponent's bench as well. So more. Um, dot damage onto the bench and obviously damage to your opponent's active as well. <coughs> it's better than you fell. It, it is better than you fell. Why? Because <laughs> Xerneas is better than you fell. Yeah, right. On what planet? <laughs> My planet. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> um, and Aurora Horn for 120 damage. No effect. 120. Nice. Stuff I like gets no love. <laughs> And then it's GX attack for the same amount of energy. Move all damage counters from each of your Pokemon to your opponent's active Pokemon. This is a souped up version of Ninetales GX if I've ever seen one. I might just make you that. I'm sorry, not your Val. Xerneas. You're Xerneas, not your Val. Yeah, I might just make Xerneas. Yeah, Xerneas is awesome. This thing's better. It's much better. It's so so good. Move all that, so you can just you know take damage all over the place, and then in comes Xerneas and just wrecks wrecks face. Just oh, you've almost killed me. It'd be a shame if I was to heal everything and put it on your active. I really like this card a lot. I think it's got a lot of potential. Yeah. Um, I really like it. <laughs> so we've got a pair of Goomies, a pair of Goomies, um, one with an ability called Sticky Memory. And if this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, the attack, oh, the attack cost of your opponent's Pokemon's attacks is one colourless more, which can be quite big at the start of the game. Means they probably can't attack you if it's the very start. Um, just as Ram for a fair energy. Um, then the second Goomy does ten damage for a Water energy. And flail 10 damage times the um, number of damage counters on it, which you can only have four before it dies, so you know, not that big. So, um, you use the ability one, basically. Use the ability one, definitely. Um, Sligu, one water, one colours, absorb 30 damage, heal 30 damage. Um, second one, second attack, one water, one fairy, and one colours. Hammer in 50 damage, nothing to be, you know, shout about. Uh, Gudra has an ability. Can I just say how much I don't like the artwork of this card? Gudra is one of my favourite Pokemon and I just don't like the artwork of this card. Um, hydration. Whenever you attach a water energy card from your hand to this Pokemon, heal 20 damage from it. It's so, like healing scarf. Yeah, a little bit. So, I mean, it's pretty good. I don't mind it. You don't really want to attach too much energy to it, but okay. Uh, it does say from your hand, though, so you can't like be cheeky and... Do other do other shenanigans with it, I guess. Um, and then it's attack for three energy, same as hammering from the sligu above. Um, does eighty damage if this Pokemon was healed during your turn? Does eighty more? So yeah, it's basically it's like that seeking. Seeking here, he but it does a lot combat. more. But it does a lot more because it can do one hundred and sixty for three energy in that situation, which is pretty good. I really like Gudra. It's one of my favourite Pokemon. Um, and we have... Is this the... It's not the first GX, is it? No, this is like the third GX. I'm I was going gonna mad. I say, we're seeing Greninja. Yeah. And I'm, going, I'm going mad. And it's, Xerneas. It's fine, I'm going mad. It's okay. Um, <laughs> so we have a dragon type. I didn't notice that. Well, dragon type. It is a big dragon. He, he is. Um, Photon Geyser for one Psychic and one Metal does 20 damage and you discard all basic Psychic energy from this Pokemon. This attack does 80 more damage for each any energy card you discard in that way. 
Um, so basically, if you've only got the one psychic energy on there, it'll do 100 damage for two energy, which is enough. <laughs> this thing is, is, if you've got two psychic and one metal, it'll do 180. Ooh, that's powerful. That's definitely powerful. Um, which is a good job, it's its only non-GX attack. Its GX attack is the same amount of energy, so it's a really low energy cost to actually do anything. Destructive Light GX. This attack can only be used if there are six or less total prize cards in play. So yours and your opponent's. So whichever combination. So if you've got five, your opponent needs one. Or if you've got four, your opponent needs two, etc, etc. Um, uh, you place six damage counters on each of your opponent's Pokemon. It's not that overwhelming, considering. But um, that, followed by Photon Geyser. Even if it's only got two energy, that's going to KO a lot of things, if not everything. I mean, 160. It'll KO non-GX Pokemon, uh, stage stage two wise. Um, so we have another little Eevee. That's because we've got the Sylveon in the set. Just really doesn't do much. She's not got the you know the energy evolution ability, which is sad because we want another energy evolution one because the artwork of the energy evolution one is not the best. So we've got a Bumblebee and a Diggersby. Just draw a card and 20 damage. Diggersby, um, 60 damage. Um, if you you may do 40 more. If you do, just got the top two cards from your deck. So it can do 100 for 3 energy, okay. Continuous Rock Tumble does 80 times. Flip until you get Tails does 80 times the number of heads, okay. Flip, flip. Uh, a Fur Fru, 20 damage. You draw cards until you have 5 in your hand, okay. Fair enough. The Noiba and Noivern, I love again. Uh, I love these Pokemon so much. Um, yeah, even the Noibat, just for two energy, destructive sound, look at your opponent's hand and discard all item cards you find there. So there was a Noivern GX a while ago that said 50 damage and your opponent can't use item cards. So Noibat, this Noibat is the better one to run as your starting Noibat, like your the basic. So you get all you get rid of all your opponent's item cards and then you say, oh no, you can't actually use any you get either after that. Uh, this can also, at the minute, help Trash Lunch. I'm trying to think of where Trash Lunch came in. I think it is actually, it is actually a G, uh, Sun and Moon set. So this card on its own is going to really help Trash Lunch. If your opponent's thinking, yeah, I can't use this item card, it's going like, to fuel the Trash Lunch. Well, this Noi Battle will just discard everything from your opponent's hand that will help with that. So that's insane. Um, the Noivern, 20 damage, and the opponent's active Pokemon is now confused. And then 3 energy does resonance for 70 plus damage. If the defending Pokemon is confused, it does 70 more. So if you use that first attack first, and then they can't switch out because of they don't have a way to switch, because obviously confusion is a status you can't switch out of if you don't have a card to switch you out, um, then it's going to do 140 in your next turn. That's pretty big. I like that a lot. So we're down to the um, uh, item cards now. So we've got a few trainers here. We've got en Enaporter, which moves special energy from one, of your, from one of your opponent's Pokemon to another of their Pokemon. So say, say like this, there's a double colorless energy on something that needs a double colorless energy. You can move it to something that doesn't need it, and it's not going to make any difference it being on that. So yeah, gets rid of the threat. Um. I'd still rather use Enhanced Hammer, just get rid of it completely, but okay. Um, fossil Excavation Map. Search your deck oh, search your deck or discard pile for one unidentified fossil card and show it to your opponent and put it into your hand. If you search your deck, shuffle it. Obviously, very good for any decks running the fossils, which we haven't got a Fossil GX yet. They've surely got to be coming. Surely, with all this fossil support we're getting, you'd think they would. Here's the unidentified fossil I said. Play it as if it was a 60 HP basic, uh, colourless basic Pokemon. At any time during your turn, you can attack. You can discard this card from play. So, if it's getting in trouble, you can just go buy. Um, this card can't retreat. So, okay. If it, if it ends up inactive, then you kind of have no other choice but to discard it. Or evolve onto it, obviously. Um, 
Rare Candy's getting a reprint, we all know what Rare Candy does, and uh, basically takes it from, from stage 1 to a stage 2. Um, obviously you can't evolve it unless it's under you know normal evolved conditions. If you could evolve the Pokemon normally then this will work. Ultra Ball, you don't really need me to tell what Ultra Ball does, Switch does what it says on the tin. Pokemon Catcher, flip a coin, switch one of your opponent's bench with their active, flip a coin, yeah. Mysterious Treasure, I like this card a lot. Um, discard a card from your hand in order to play this card. Search your deck for a psychic or normal Pokemon, reveal it and put it into your hand. It's a much cheaper way in psychic or normal decks. So far, Lee is the normal deck, guys. I'm going to put it out there because I don't really think there's any other normal decks out there. Um, and reveal it and put it into your hand. So, so it's just like it's a much cheaper Ultra Ball. You're discarding one card as opposed to two for Ultra Ball. So, in psychic or normal decks, like I said, much better than Ultra Ball because it's just an item card like Ultra Ball is. Um, we've got a reprint of Choice Band by the looks. Does 30 more damage to opponents EX or GX. In the coming times it's going to be just GX because EX are going out. Yeah. Anyway, so this is the card that I said earlier was going to replace Professor's Letter which I love using. I know it's not used in many meta decks but I love Professor's Letter. Search your deck for up to four basic energy cards, reveal them and put them into your hand. Then shuffle your deck. It's a supporter, yes, but four energy. Do you know how the uh, metal decks have just come out with all that support for just spamming energy? Yeah, that helps a lot. <laughs> that four energy is going to go a long way in that kind of deck. And then we have a Diantha, which I love Diantha, but this card is very underwhelming if you ask me. Um, it's basically like teammates where you can only play a card if one of your Pokemon was knocked out, but it has to be a fairy Pokemon that was knocked out to use it. Choose two discards from your discard pile and put them into your hand. Whereas, obviously, teammates, I think, was if any of your Pokemon died during the last turn, you can find two cards from your deck and put them into your hand. So I feel like this is a lot weaker, but just because of its limitation in fairy Pokemon being knocked out. More than m over the thing about the discard pile. I don't mind that being the discard pile, but anyway. So, oh, we actually have the new artwork for Judge as well. That's pretty cool. I hadn't seen the actual artwork before now. I knew it was in the set, but. So, a supporter, both players shuffle their hands into their deck and draw four cards. Pretty simple effect, um, but I know four cards isn't a lot, but sometimes you really need it, and it's also opponent disruption as well. So, if you've got ways to draw cards um, in your deck, then that's obviously really helpful. We've got another reprint of How, and then we've got. <laughs> gonna go into class over that. And then we've got a Lysander Prison Star, which I read earlier, and I actually think it's really good in Fire Decks. Absolutely insane in Fire Decks. So obviously, being a Prison Star, you can only have one of it. For each of your Fire Pokemon in play, put the same number of cards from your opponent's discard pile into their Lost Zone. This takes up so many options for your opponent like oh i'm gonna pal pad these like cynthia's or something that's gonna win me the game back into my deck nope i'm gonna you know chuck them all into the lost zone if you've got a lot of po a lot of fire pokemon in play that's gonna discard and you get to choose obviously put the same number of cards from your opponent's discard pile into that zone it doesn't say who chooses so i'm presuming it's the, po the person using the lysander prison star anyway really good card in my opinion um, Bonnie. Discard a stadium card in play. Oh, you can only use it if there's a stadium card in play to start with, okay, so it, it, and it needs this restriction. Discard the stadium card that's in play. During this turn, your Zygarde GX may use its GX attack even when you have already used a GX attack this game. It doesn't even say it has to have been Zygarde's GX attack that you've already used. You can just use Zygarde's GX regardless. Insane. Insane. I don't know what you'd use with the Zygarde that, GX wise that you'd want to use before it. I feel like people, are, if if they're going to do this, oh excuse me, will probably just use Zygarde's own GX attack twice, or m more than that, because obviously you can have Bonnie, you can have four copies of Bonnie. So what's the word on it? You can use Zygarde's. You can use Zygarde's GX attack, even if you've already used another GX attack in the game. Boswell. 
I don't know what Bottles Chicks attack does, but that might be an option, yes. Uh, off the top of my head, I really can't remember that. We've got another reprint of Lily. And then here's the Lysander Labs that goes with that um, Pyro we saw. So the Pyro was like, oh, the tool cards and, um, and not tool cards. The, the, uh, the item cards and supporter cards have no effect on it. So Lysander Labs is a stadium card that says Pokemon tools in play have no effect. So that's both yours and your opponent's. So actually a choice band on it isn't going to do anything now I'm thinking about it, but oh well. Um, but that that puts a stop to a lot of things. Um, I'm thinking Floatstone for current use. Uh, I think Skateboard is it that's taking it over. I think Skateboard is the new Floatstone. Um, yeah, that's yeah. The Slicander Labs is is nasty. I mean, at least it works for you and your opponent. Balances well, out a bit. Anything, anything you have to do, anything your opponent has to deal with, you have to deal with too. <laughs> well, that's what all stadiums do, right? Um, no, not all the time. Yeah. Um, so you sort of affect both people. Um, so then, like I said, we get a reprint of double colorless energy, and we also get the last unit energy featuring fighting, dark, and fairy type energy. Just provides one of each of those energy at a time so whichever so if you if you run a multi um multi-type deck then that's that's basically how that works um so yeah as i was saying all the full arts next um we've already seen these cards so we don't need to go over them but the greninja gx looks like that the Vettel looks really cool the uh zygarde xerneas or pink i love the ultra necrozma in full art but then the trainers the lady the diantha the bonnie oh so cute it's too anime like actually that Bonnie. And then we've got some hyper rares with Greninja. Ooh, ooh, I'm just gonna scroll. Ooh. Support um uh, supporters. Blah. Secret rares. So we get three secret rares by the looks so, of you know, proper secret rares, not not the um not the other kind of one. Not the hyper rare version. So we've got Enaporter, Mystery Treasure, which is a really cool card, like I said, and a unit energy from this set is again in secret rare which looks so cool i always think the unit energies look really cool um but anyway yes um that is the whole of um forbidden light is the set's name um oh excuse me as i scroll back up forbidden light so moon six i also wanted to show this off if it'll load so yeah we actually have like stuff that's probably going to be in our set seven okay so this is not in this next set it's probably in set seven but um we don't know the full effects but i just wanted to really quickly show them um yeah just just to because they're really cool looking um the articuno looks really cool i love the look of that card it's so nice um yeah i want to show this really quickly anyway thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed this video please make sure you press that thumbs up and if you really liked it also press the subscribe button so you can come back for more. I do um, openings and obviously we've got a new opening coming soon with Forbidden Light coming out in uh, not too long, another couple of months now. Um, we also have some more um, matches on both the TCGO and hopefully real life as well soon. So please check back for more. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye. <laughs>